what's up so I find it strange you know after a breakup you know your, your ex being toxic uh, you don't want you back you know, there's, it's their fault you know, anyway I would want them back anyway I can for the, for the third time if they didn't change the second time uh, chances are they won't change the, the third time or the fourth time so yeah so why does my ex keep checking out my facebook profile uh, my social media profile uh, for my situation tiktok i thought they wanted to be left alone you know when i moved on uh she contacted me and uh, you know when i move on when i'm moving on they will contact me uh, I have, i've had like a couple of a couple of access to have done that when I move on, trying to move on after a breakup, they contact me after a short while. So, but if I contact them after a breakup, they're so angry about it, you know. They don't. They want to be chased, but they also don't want you. Uh, anyway, after the bullcrap, you know, they block you on other social media, and then and unblock you in on social media and and they're checking your profile yeah. you know me uh, I, I'm you know I'm only human it hurts but I'm kind of used to it you know I've gotten over like uh, a couple of a lot of access so uh, I've experienced this before uh, I, I can get by it's gonna be painful for a while. Of course, I love them. I want to be in a relationship with somebody, but they love them. But but then you know they have other might also love me or have feelings for me. But you know they, they have a lot of uh, other agendas. You know like materialism. So that's why it won't work. So you know uh, it's either they uh, you know they want. They regret it about their relationship that they got a rebound or the other other guys need to work out or they need something or it's their boyfriend checking your profile you know i'm too old i'm getting too old for this crap you know i thought my last ex-girlfriend uh, was old enough mature enough she's like almost 30 I'm too, getting too old for this though, you know, but, you know, they say, uh, uh, men mature later than women, but it seems that women just never grow up, they just never grow up, they're still, uh, materialistic even though they're old, they're, they're adults, they're 30, almost 30 or 30s, they still want to travel, they still want to party, they still want to, uh, fashionable on uh, social media with their friends still want to hang out with their friends so uh, they still want to be pampered you know, they, they still have poor communication skills they're still broke yeah, they, they, they still can't appreciate the simple life you know you need to really need to party to eat out, you know, to, to travel, you know. But if you're an adult, you know, like me, to be a mature adult, so priorities come first. Well, I put my priorities first. Priorities first. Now I bought a house cash. I can travel every day within a couple of miles. So, or uh, every, like every month go on vacation I can do that but I, I still won't <coughs> so I'm trying out traveling just uh, a couple miles within, within city and a little bit outside the city so try to explore things that are places that I haven't been through yet food that I haven't tasted yet if there's, if there's a new restaurant within the price range visit some places that I've never uh, that I haven't came back to 
in a while or years or decades. So I visited an old place <coughs> today. It was, it was just in the vicinity of uh, something important that I had to do. So I took a few minutes to walk around and take pictures. It's not great, you know, it's old, dilapidated, dilapidated but you know, 20 years, 20, 30 years ago, that was, that was one of the go-to places, you know, there were like bands, live bands, you know, and I remember back then, uh, I sang their uh, band, Blue Hallelujah Live, I think that was my first live performance ever, in front of a lot of people, and then, you know, as a singer. <clears throat> <coughs> uh, traveling is not great if you don't have a if you don't have someone someone uh, you don't have someone with you uh, but you know but for these these women this woman uh, especially my ex who like, checks my profile uh, well probably it's, it's, it's her boyfriend uh, her boyfriend anyway blocked me a long time ago. I know I know the game, but it's thought if I people would change, I would wait for years. Oh, sorry, where was I? So I don't know where it's just not scripted, so <coughs> They complain about their husbands, so well, <coughs> you know, you can't blame them. Uh, they, they don't want to grow old alone, so unlike me, who uh, I thought before I was okay with growing old alone, but I still it was still be okay, I guess. Uh, but unlike me, uh, but um, I'm lucky. I haven't married the wrong woman just for the sake of it, just for the sake of not being, not being alone at this age. But I don't know if that's lucky or not. But I think I wouldn't be uh, here where I am right with my success right now. I married the wrong person. But you know, we'll never know. We'll never know if it's really the wrong person. So. You know, we never know what in life, you know, but we will just end up in regret. I guess when I guess we'll just end up in regret, you know. One way or one way or another, we might end up in regret. We'll never know. Or we won't, but that's life, so 